What's up guys, this is Nock V. Welcome to part 6 of 7 in my first full track production series. So yeah, this will be the second to the last video in this series. In this video I'll be concentrating on changing the acapella for the track, doing some vocal chopping and slicing stuff as well as some other tweaks. And to wrap up the series, the next video will be about some final mix down and mastering stuff as well as doing the radio mix arrangement. First off, like I said in a previous video, I wasn't really a fan of the vocals we are using, so I went and got a more interesting vocal to use from Splice. Just gonna move this vocal into place and then get rid of the old vocals. It's a bit quiet, so I'm gonna try and normalize it, but I know it's not gonna really do anything because the peaks are pretty high, so there's really nowhere for it to go without compression. Pardon the underruns, I'm, I'm going to try and cut out as much of that as I can. So I don't really like the vocals where they are here, I'm going to move them over to uh, where the other vocals come in. So yeah, that clip there sounds a lot better than what it was before. So let's bring that main vocal over to the chorus here. And I spend a lot of time wrestling with the loudness of this track. So what I want to do is compress it a bit more because I think there's some variance in the loudness throughout the vocal. So I notice I said loudest throughout the track, I meant through the vocal. So now I'm just copying the vocal track over to the second breakdown. Not a hell of a lot to see here, kind of boring. And that section there really needed that extra vocal to sort of bring in the drop. And now we're just going to bring the acapella over to the, uh, the second drop chorus section. And in the middle of doing this, I want to take a quick second to uh, adjust sort of the mids and mid highs a little bit because I think the, the high end is drowning too much of the sound out. So with the vocal at the very beginning of the breakdown, I felt like it was a little bit too loud, too prominent. So one of the things I wanted to do was 
was add in a low pass and a high pass filter and have them work in unison to be kind of like a band pass filter. The way I do this is add in snap heap and I use a preset that I made that has um, a low pass and a high pass filter with macro knobs so that I can automate them. So as you can see, I'm low passing the first eight bars of it and then bringing it back in for the main part of it. And I'm gonna replicate that for the second breakdown too. So at this point, this section, I'm thinking it's a little bit too generic. So what I wanna do is add some kind of slicing and glitching stuff to make it seem a bit more interesting. Now I know that this stuff is kind of boring, but I also don't want to speed it up because I kind of want to show the entire process of creating all of these glitching effects rather than just kind of speeding through it, not really showing anything. So there it is, I think we've got that passage down. One of the other things I wanted to do was take a passage from about here and bring that over to the section over here, just to keep it a bit fresher. Now I want to take out the original phrase and leave it replaced with this one. And then we can also add this to the last bar of the drop as well. We can also take this phrase to the end of the drop too. And also use it on the last bar of the phases after the drop too. Honestly, there's not that much more to it. I add pretty much the same phrases to the outros, uh, to the intros as well. And that really kind of wraps it up for the entire track as it is. Now there's a couple of things I still wanted to do with the mix down and I also need to do the radio mix arrangement. I know full well that this isn't really my best work. I mean, since I started working on this project, I've started on a couple of other things that are just way better than what I'm working on here. Usually at this point, I'd kind of just move on, start working on other stuff and probably let this one kind of die out. But for the sake of the series, I'm going to see it through to the end and actually release this track. So the version you hear after the next video will be the version that gets pushed out to Spotify, iTunes, everything, all that stuff. So look forward to that. As always, if you like this video, hit that like button. And if you want to see more, subscribe. If you want to support me, I do have a Patreon where you can get access to early releases, work in progress clips of all my tracks, as well as stems and project files for all the originals and bootlegs that I release. Check out the link in the description for that. I also have a Discord too, so if you want to join up and hang out, check out the link in the description for that too. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one.